beautiful people. Welcome back to Hella Jam. Today, I'm so excited to show you our patio makeover for under $600. I hope this kind of inspires you to make your outdoor space your sanctuary and that it doesn't really have to be that expensive and it's therapeutic and fun. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you're well. And if you aren't subscribed yet, go on ahead and click on that subscribe button. All right, so this is our current backyard situation. We have this entire open area to play around with. And then we have this random fountain. Um, we have this nice little separator and then um, Stefano's man caves over there. Our main priority was to one, take care of our toddler and make sure that he stays alive. Don't eat that. <sighs> and two, we intentionally furnish the interior part of our home. When we first moved into this house, I was pretty scared to decorate outdoors. I had no idea how to decorate a backyard. I was born and raised in the same home um, and my dad, he has this beautiful garden that is 100% a labor of his love and seriously goals like if i could buy that home i would it was kind of intimidating moving into a new place especially in the suburbs and not really knowing how to decorate it we have been living in this place for a year and a half finally 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 we're getting comfortable and decided to invest in patio furniture and decided to start planting our own little garden outdoors. Our main goal was to find patio furniture that was affordable but great quality. Naturally, my thrifty self wanted to reuse whatever we had. So we took out our old jute rug that was absolutely filthy from our kitchen and brought that outside. We used this hand-me-down iron rocker that my dad gave us. We desperately needed shade. There's absolutely no shade in our backyard. And so we got an umbrella with the sturdy stand that could withstand high winds because our backyard space gets very windy. I discovered my green thumb and dabbled in planting veggies. For Mother's Day, Stefano surprised me with a patio set. And I don't know why, we were going back and forth and like we're so afraid to actually pull the trigger because as you know, patio furniture is really expensive. And for somebody that loves to thrift, it was like really hard for me to put my debit card in and purchase the patio furniture. But Stefano bought it for me and he just really wanted me to enjoy outside and have a sitting area during the rest of my maternity leave. And now that we're gardening, it's like so nice to just sit down and have an umbrella and really feel at home. So I've been having a lot of fun decorating the patio area. We slowly added more plants, which he knows the way to my heart is more plants. <laughs> And then also on Mother's Day, my dad surprised me with even more plants to put in our backyard. I added pillows and lanterns from Target, as well as this old shell from my dad's garden that I've been eyeing for years. My dad surprised us with this thrifted hammock that he oh. got from Facebook Marketplace. This always gets tangled up all the time. Tangled, still tangled. All I ever wanted in life was to get a hammock and it's the most relaxing thing ever. When I'm stressed out, I can just come out here and breathe. Highly suggest it. And Stefano was so kind to spray paint it, the base kind of like a white, off-white color. And then we bought this cream hammock to really tie the rest of the set together and make it really, really cohesive. We got this hammock for I think $75 on Amazon. So I'll leave that link in the description as well. To save money, we reused our old rug, got this umbrella on sale, 
this patio set and this rattan lounger on mega sale at Target. And we bought a ton of plants for a killer deal on Facebook Marketplace. A majority of the plants were gifted from my parents and voila, patio makeover for less than $600. This backyard has truly become a sanctuary and our home just feels more complete than ever. It's so sweet to be able to see our family grow in this home and to see my son run around and help me garden and for me to be able to just lay outside with my daughter and feed her outside. And so yeah, we're counting our blessings and couldn't be happier with how our patio turned out. I hope this inspires you guys to learn that you don't really have to spend an arm and a leg for good patio furniture. You just have to be resourceful, whether that means thrifting the pieces that you want or making sure that you invest in pieces that you really, really do love that you will keep for a lifetime. A bubble master. Around the world, around the world. <laughs> Quarantine ain't got us down. We here. And here. And here. Did you wash your hands? Bless. Bless, bless, bless. I literally see my reflection in our window and I look like this this entire time. <laughs> Bandana.